All right, here's a demo of the pedal board that I built in the year 2018, between March and December, from scratch. Uh, for the most part, that is. So I got here a uh, Reverend Charger 290. It has essentially P90s in it. Here I am in the middle position, raw signal. <laughs> Pretty good signal. So, coming into the signal chain, I come from wireless sure, which is up here off camera. I'll put that in the description, what the name of it is. So I come into here. This is a drop tune pedal. Does exactly what you'd think. You can dial in how many pitches down you want to drop tune to. It'll go down to seven or an octave, so here's seven. Super useful if you're playing a song one key lower or higher and it's using an open tuning. This is classic Pog. Turn this on. It adds octave up and octave down. If I do this, this is a JHS mod. Uh, so that is, I can control an octave down there, and then I can control an octave up here, so I get multiple presets. That's what you expect. So basic signal chain. I'm running a stereo drive chain and I'm using this doubler pedal to give myself a stereo image. So if I turn this on, I get instant stereo signal. I have these drives on almost all the time just to, just to kind of EQ and give a basic drive. Sometimes I keep them off. I'll keep them off for this demo, but you can hear the stereo image. So the drive I keep on almost all the time is this, which is a morning glory. It's the left side of a double barrel. If I go to bridge pickup, Very nice. This on this side is, I believe, the moonshine. So I have these basically at the same volume, but I use this one for higher dirt. So the chain comes in here through here, goes into this compressor, which I have on all the time, which I use to sort of even out my playing. And it runs into this drive first. There's two sides to it, of course. Um, and then I run into either this or this. I forget now. So this is the Mufaletta Fuzz. Great fuzz. There is uh, six different types of fuzz in it. I like the JHS one the most. Does what you expect from a fuzz pedal. It's awesome. This is a 1981 drive. It's essentially a boutique rat pedal. It's made by the guy from Reliant K and it's awesome. Great, great drive. Some good chugging to it. You can, you can really crank it up. Get some great sustain out of it. 
Great dry pedal. Cool. Uh, I also have a noise gate, which I rarely use, but I can use after this pedal to cut, sort of cut it out and let it cut out a bit of that hum. So that's super cool. Okay. Uh, I run eventually into this, which is doubled, right? Uh, before that is this. This pedal is called Enzo, it's by Maris, and it's a synthesizer. Uh, the dry mode allows me to use all of these synth parameters on the dry signal. So here's, here's some modulation. Really great. You can have a lot of fun with it. I use just mild modulation. Other things it can do, well, it's a synthesizer. So here's a mono synth. Let's see here. Dial that up. It is a synth. Which is crazy. It's crazy that it's an actual synth and you can dial in the envelope for it. Let's see. You can do a... As an envelope would do, there's also a poly mode, which essentially play multiple notes at a time, as you'd expect. It samples all the notes. There's also an arpeggiator. So if I play a chord, it'll play all the notes in that chord, arpeggiated. And you can adjust this. But as previously stated, I most often use it on the dry mode because because it's some awesome modulation. So I'm gonna turn these both back on. So after all of this stereo stuff, I come and do my stereo volume pedal. Does what you'd expect. There's a tuner out of that. Out of that. Uh, I run into this guy. No, that's a lie. I run into the delay first. So this is the timeline. Standard delay. Here down here I have a tap switch. Does just what you'd think. Um, this right here is um, for clock presets for click. Um, I can bring external MIDI into the side of this and it will send to this pedal and also the synth. Or if I have nothing pl plugged into it, uh, I have this little tap pedal running into it to tap the tempo in and it'll send to both when I tap it. Or I can put presets in switch this plug over and use this to advance presets, which I do when I don't have MIDI in. So here we got a pretty standard delay. So here in the timeline, I have a lot of presets I've made. I got one quarter, got eighth, uh, I got... Just can't not play dotted eighth. Uh, there's also a. I also have a dual sixteenth setting in here, which is sort of dotted eighth, but it's a. Which is fun. 
Um, so that's kind of some standard stuff I have there. And then here, of course, is the Big Sky. Reverb. So I have here uh, just a big hall, and I have a wet set. Pretty cool. It does just what you'd expect. Uh, other things I may have forgotten to mention over here. This is a toggle for my... And it's a clean booze. And it basically kicks a clean boost into the Morning Glory. Super helpful. This is just a stutter switch. There's no real purpose to that other than goofing around. And da, 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 what else? Oh, this is a latching foot switch for the freeze function of the big sky. So a lot of people know if you play a chord with the big sky and then you hold this, it'll pad that verb forever. It'll freeze it. So what I have this, this is actually going underneath the pedal board. Um, plugged into a MIDI controller pedal that takes the latching value of this and sends a constant MIDI signal to this so I can use it to turn the freeze on or off and hold itself. So I can go something like that. I can turn on my signal entirely off and it'll go forever until I hit that again. Becomes super useful. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, some things I've done. I have a really slow um, reverse delay that I can use. And it'll keep repeating like that. So something I can do with that is I can So turn out something like that. This reverb is between the delay and this reverb. So when this is in freeze mode, I can turn this on and use it as a secondary delay. Right now I have it in a wet mode. It's completely wet, so there's no dry signal. So if I do something like this, and it'll keep repeating because of the slow delay. I could, of course, lay down a slow, low drone. second bank I have one that's called melt and essentially and I have a nonlinear reverb that's a reverse reverb fun stuff especially if I feed that into it so if I turn that on It ends up becoming a constant note because because there's no dry signal coming out of this at the moment. Fun stuff. 
Another cool thing about this pedal, it's an awesome reverb pedal all by itself. It's a great wet sounds, even if the mix is all the way up. There's a lot of modes in this. Uh, the coolest one, a really unique thing, is this pedal has a sustain mode where it will sustain the reverb. Essentially, it has an auto gate, but it'll sustain, it'll pad that verb until it decides to stop. Until the cutoff point at which it shuts off. But yeah, it has a, a shimmer. Good stuff. That's pretty much everything. Fun. Something that something I'll show here. A uh, good example of blending. This has a pitch down, so I can go down an octave. Here we go. Which gets to be fun with some fuzz. If I do that all the way, it is... So what I can do is I can have like a mix of guitar and synth. Sounds really cool. I'm going to filter that down. Good stuff. If you have any questions, let me know.